Welcome to the channel everybody. This is Hardware Despair. My name is Ryan and today we are playing Stack Space and this is episode number two and a couple things I want to point out that I probably should have mentioned in the first episode but I was too excited to jump in and play to be honest. Um, one thing is if you look up here in the upper right hand corner there's this little card. It says Switch Game. There's actually two different games included here and I have not jumped into Stacks Village. I imagine it probably leans heavily uh, into the Stack Land genre but uh, we can switch back here at any time another thing I should mention is that uh, this is not on Steam it's on itch.io I made that uh, mistake when I first uh, mentioned it but um, here you can see down in the bottom right here's the email the uh, the link to the itch page and the reddit and also if you check the description of my video there's a link to the store page for this as well anyway let's jump in and resume our game Okay, now <laughs> we were in a bit of a pickle where we left off. Um, actually, we had just gotten out of a pickle, and man, we lost a guy here, but uh, no worries, no worries. We did discover the storage silo, the recipe for that, kind of on accident, which was pretty sweet. So now we're at 58 of 42 card count, and I tell you what, as soon as we get another unobtainium, out of our re refinery here, we are going to make another one of those, I think. That's what we're looking for to do with our unobtainium <laughs> first as soon as we get it. So let's uh, let's get this place cleaned up a little bit here. Okay, I've got a little bit more organization going on. Uh, first things first, we are cloning another astronaut right now. I got the two biomass on the cloning vat with my astronaut. Uh, that's to replace our, our dead guy here. Now this card does say that we could clone him, I assume, bring him back with a first aid kit. We don't have one of those yet, and I'm fairly certain I don't have the idea for it. So we'll just keep him in reserve. I'm not going to get rid of the tombstone or anything. We're doing okay on our card count. So as soon as I find out how to make... Wait, is that it right there? Repair kit? Wait, because this says something else. Okay, I see that. There we go. Uh, this says first aid kit. Yeah, I think that might be different. But uh, anyway, I'll keep my eyes out because I think in my original playthrough, I did get a, a first aid kit. Uh, but that was during, you know, before I had recorded. So anyway, let's uh, let's get things situated. Now I do have the SOS signal. This is a, a place card, basically. And we got it from the rover last episode. It popped out along with an alien that killed our guy. <laughs> but uh, this says Max Travelers 20. Temporary card only has 93 ticks left. And now something cool that if you notice, there's like this right here says home location. If we switch it, you'll see that we have that location stored up there. Obviously, I'm just going to sell that, I guess. Um, yeah, because, so we could go to that, I presume, by just putting cards here. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it, tried it yet, but I assume that's what that is. That's pretty cool, and, I, and I'm sure it's temporary. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to go for it this time around, but the rover says that's a known card the sos signal so i assume we'll be able to get that in the future if we just stick on the rover long enough so everything's going good buy the research and design booster drag your money oh okay yeah for sure good good point there mr pooch thank you all right let's see what we got now ooh, what is all this good stuff we got another booster all right so we've got the two stat boosters i was just waiting till this guy was born yeah, because I wanted to kind of look, compare and contrast here. Let's see. So what are these things? Oh, it's an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the storage crate we know. Very cool. Let's get our money just together there. And we've got the drill. Yeah, we know the drill. Yep. And what is this? Green plasma saber. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know this one. Temporary card. Okay. Two nanocarbon electronics in an energy cell. Oh, my gosh. Guess what, guys? We can do it. Electronics in an energy cell. We're going to make that. It might have some sort of requirement on it, like a uh, strength or endurance, but we, we're going to see. We're going to find out and see. Okay, well, here it is. The green saber, and it is just what I thought it was. Uh, basically a laser sword, which is awesome. So I think I might give it to this guy. Like we just gave him a little boost. He is a seven... Uh, in strength and six endurance, six agility. This is like our, this was the first way, guy we had. So let's just see here. I don't know if it's going to give us back the gun or not. This guy is very intelligent. This is the one who was just cloned. So he came back and he's oh look at him. 
<laughs> nice, he's got the awesome stance. So yeah, while I did the premiere yesterday, the developer was in the chat and pointed out two things here. So the ranged guy is ranged, truly. So if we got a, a bug over here, we can keep him across the board to shoot. Now I assume since this guy's melee, we'll need to get up close and personal, but we'll, we'll experiment with the combat. Also, another thing that was mentioned was that the foily card here, the foily nanocarbon, does have multiple charges or uses on it since it's a foily card versus just being a regular nanocarbon. So that's pretty sweet too. I love the idea of the foily cards having an actual use in the game other than, you know, just being slightly more valuable. So um, I think we'll keep the blaster. I could sell it obviously, but uh, we don't need the cloning vat right away. So what we really need to do is start getting on these chunks and on the drill here. Cause yeah, we're kind of low on plasteel. We definitely need more nanocarbon and I need more helium cause I want to get some more unobtainium right away. Oh, look at this. Perfect. They're just finding everything we need. Or deposit. Regolith is good. Yeah, let's get this. We get three heliums on this refinery. It'll start making unobtainium for us. So that's huge. Dragon Astronaut or drone under the plasteel deposit to make plasteel. I believe he's talking about this, the ore deposit here, which we'll do. I'll do that shortly. Let me get this cleaned up. Get that energy cell going into a multi-cell. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll move him over here. Oh, boy. Time to eat. We got a mega cell chilling. Oh yeah, we're doing very well on our energies right now. With four solar panels going, we should be good. Now, something else we need to make is, I made this my first run. I don't see it here. Uh, is it the assembly line? It might be the assembly line, but one of these buildings will allow us to start upgrading our Mark 1s to like Mark 2 or 5 or whatever. So that's what we need to go for. Anyway, let's open our booster. Oh, a stat boost. Endurance. Who's that going to go to? Well, I'm tempted to give it to this guy since he's basically our, our Jedi Knight now. All right, regolith. Yeah, we'll use the regolith here shortly. Ah, very good. There's our first, second piece of unobtainium. All right, let's get him working on the regolith. Beautiful. Get over here on the ore deposit. Yep, now the dog's telling us to produce the unobtainium, so we're we're on the right track, obviously. All right. Energy is getting out of control, <laughs> which is a good problem to have. Okay, so that uh, H3 popped out the, fur, er, the unobtainium there. Now the dog's telling us to build a strength training station, which is interesting. That's something I haven't done before. Four nanocarbon. An astronaut and a drone and one plastic. I am going to do that. First, though, I want to turn two of these crates into a silo over here. So this has a capacity, large capacity, greatly increases card limit. And yeah, that's we kind of discovered this uh, recipe by accident. Very happy accident last time. So that's cool. Now let's do what the dog's asking us. Um, but first things first, I think I do want to do the assembly line. So this is three plasteel and electronics, which we don't have in an energy cell. But if you recall, or if you did miss it, we can easily make electronics just by processing one piece of plasteel here. So we'll get a drone to do that for us. The drones are, are working very well over there. In fact, I could probably pull one of them off, get them on the drill, just with the amount of energy we've got right now. Very nice. Okay, so there's our electronics. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna break out an assembly line and then I'll also build Oh, look, he's actually telling me to build that now. Uh, but I'm going to do that strength training thing he was talking about, too. All right. Well, we just got a uh, quest finished when I did make 10 plasteel. It gave me a booster pack. And now we have a new card uh, pack available up here. So that's 25 for a random events, which is cool. It's, uh, it's crazy to think we've still got two more to go. So that's awesome. Let's continue on our way. I'm still waiting for, you know what, actually, I've got the stat boost. I need to use that. Increases intelligence. Let's make this guy who's an already really smart, let's make him even smarter. Let's see what happens when we get an Einstein here. That'd be cool. All right, buddy, you're back at it now. He's about finished with the assembly line. And I have a feeling when we finish this, it's, he's going to start telling us to upgrade our Mark I drones, I bet. There we go. Finish that. Let's get this. Oh, what is this? A Gatling laser. All right, an excellent heavy weapon requires certain strength and agility to operate. Okay, okay, so this is plus nine strength. Wait, I don't even think this guy has that yet. Wow. Okay, well, I tell you what, we're going to keep it. Um, my card limit's good. I think I will sell the blaster, though. 
So, yeah, we can always make another one of those if we need it real quick. But um, very nice, very nice. I just wish I could get some more helium-3. I think I'm going to build another drill, too. Yeah, because uh, we're getting to the point where I could easily have another drone, you know, certainly. Especially once we level these guys up to, like, Mark 5s or whatever. Oh, man, our energy production is going to go insane at that point. Hey, look, the uh, assembly line's done. Cool. All right, upgrade your drone. Check it out. Solar panel plus a drone. So we have to cannibalize our solar panels for this, but it's worth it because we can just build some new ones, and we've got some upgraded drones here. Oh, just want to show this off real quick, too. We got uh, another place card. This came out of the drill, actually. It's popped from the drill. Underground passage to the bug caverns. Temporary card. You know what? I've seen this one before, too. So I know for a fact, like, we can get this one again. And it can't, even if I sell it, yeah, it's still available. That's awesome. Um, let's keep it there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is this? Home card? Um, but... I'm not sure why this came here, but uh, let's go ahead and feed everybody. Oh, there's two H3s. Nice, nice. Our drill is working. All right, and you can see that I actually did go ahead and set up a second drill. I'll put that over here and get that going. Boy, this nano, this foily nanocarbon is awesome. Now, this thing, I'm not sure why we got that, but I'll put that back over there. And I am currently upgrading the drones and stuff, so pop. So we've got two drones who currently don't have a job, basically. I mean, I can put them on the drills. That'd be fine. But I think we will go ahead and make two more solar panels here. But once that's done, I think we can probably hold off. We might not need four total. We'll see. At least for right away, because these drones are super efficient at it. So two plasteel and a nanocarbon. All right, I'm going to have them both working on a couple more solar panels. Okay, well, they've got their solar panels complete, so we've got some, what are these, Mark 11B, it says? Yeah, that's uh, pretty decent, pretty decent, so we'll see how these two go. Uh, this guy accidentally had it stacked improperly, so instead of upgrading, he just pr produced another energy cell, <laughs> so you got to be careful of that. Um, yeah, you don't want to do it like this, just grab this stack and put it on there. You want to take it off when you're ready to upgrade, separate them, then place the first card, and then place the second card. That, that'll activate the upgrade process a little bit smoother, I believe. Okay, we got some more unobtainium, and just in time, too, honestly, because we are at our just reached our card mat cap right there, so... Yeah, I'm going to watch that, but uh, we're definitely going to be making some more of the uh, storage silo. Is that what it is? Yeah, storage silo. So we've got one more drone to upgrade, and as you can see, this guy's got nothing to do, but we'll, we'll solve that in one second. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm putting on solar panel and then the drone. Better, better. All right, now we need something for this guy to do. We do have a couple drills, and we have an obscene amount of plasteel right now because of it. One thing we aren't getting a whole lot of is the helium-3, so I'm just wondering there's a way to specifically get that i guess i could take a, one of the astronauts and drop them on the rover but man i'm a little nervous to do that <laughs> uh let's see here maybe what we should do is go ahead and build two more solar panels okay check me out here two more solar panels put our droids on those so we just keep the energy production going like crazy and we can what the heck did i do here then we can uh clone up a whole bunch more astronauts like another three astronauts so let's say get them armored up like with stuff like this and then we'll start hitting the bug caverns and different things so that might be what i i mean i kind of want to work towards that of course we've got the robot we could assemble too but cloning that is something i can do right away so let me go ahead and get somebody cloning yeah don't need to have him working on that right now like i said we got an obscene amount of plasteel so i think that'll be our plan Okay, well, we've got our two upgraded drones making a couple more solar panels for him. I uh, just built a little blaster for this guy because when he was born, he, he's not very good strength-wise, so he's definitely not going to be able to carry this thing around. We're still keeping it, though, just waiting on it. And I am using up all the nanocarbons now to, to upgrade our card limit. So I built a few more storage crates. There's another one plopped down. And every bit of unobtainium I'm, I'm getting right now, I'm just putting towards that for the moment. Obviously, that'll probably change. But, um, yeah, some of these guys are going to be without a job, but that's fine. I mean, we can have him... I guess I could put him on the rover. Uh, honestly, I'm more tempted to put this guy on the rover. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to get 
killed again. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but hey, nothing else we can do, right? Um, oh, I do have 11 credits. I could buy another research and design. I want to save up for the for the advanced robotics. So I tell you what, is there anything I can sell? Not really. Not really. I do want to resurrect this guy, so I'm not going to sell that. I don't even think it's worth anything. But um, yeah, I mean, I could sell this, but we're keeping that. So we're just going to stick to the plan. Keep producing stuff. I guess I could sell the multi-cell, but um, uh, or the mega-cell, that is. Whew. Look how much that's worth, actually. 32. Tell you what, I think with that, with our advanced robots, that's not a bad idea. Let's let's freaking do it. All right, all right. So there's that. Now yeah, let's see what we get. Oh, more robot grab arms. Whew, we got a lot of those. They're worth five each in an energy cell. That's okay. Not every card pack can be a whopper. We know that. But um, let's see here. Should I save up? I think I'm gonna save up for another advanced robotics in the hopes that we'll get like. I don't know, enough to make whatever the heck this thing makes. Let's see, we got a grab arm. Oh, okay, so we essentially have the arms and the head for two different robots right now. Wow. I have to remember, though, because if I need to sell some cards, I probably will sell at least one set of those. Oh, man, look at that. The bug is back. Okay, okay, so if I pull these guys off, are they going to shoot? And the, also, I love how the drone zipped right over there to help. Yeah, they are shooting. Okay. Well, that was a lot better. I think we're going to be okay. As long as this rover doesn't pop out like some boss mob or something. I mean, it might. I don't know. But uh, Alien Bug, Crush Chunk, Dried Rose, Rusty Shuttle, SOS. One unknown card still. Mm. That's okay. We'll keep going. That was actually a successful fight. So I'm not, I'm not unhappy with the results there. Okay. Well, a couple of cool things. The uh, rover actually popped out another dried rose, which is huge. That's like 25 gold right there. Our bills or whatever credits. Um, and I just noticed too, that the dog is telling me to make robo legs. So assemble three plasteel in the assembly line. And so we got that going now. So heck, we're on our way towards building a robot. I think here, let's do it. All right. Time to feed everybody. This sh should be relatively easy. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and you know, real quick, I just want to go through up here. The, there's options up here. I noticed that, that that noise whenever we eat is a little bit loud, so I'm going to come into sound effects and turn it down. I just wanted to show you that it's got all the normal options and stuff. Quite a few, actually. You can disable foil cards, disable the feeding animation, disable shake effects and stuff. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of good stuff. You got uh, actions. Uh, and, you know, something else that I forgot to mention, too, was that there are mods available. Well, uh, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if they're currently mods, but it has the the game has the uh, ability to have mods installed. That's in the main menu area. Anyway, I'm just going to close this up, go back to our scenario here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue. Okay, well, we got two more alien bugs here. So let's see. I don't think, I think as long as we deal with this correctly, these guys really shouldn't be much of a problem. These little bugs. I think my problem last time is I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but um, I'll keep this guy back in reserve for a second. Look at the robot. Oh, I thought he was going to go attack the bug. So we'll just let the range deal with them. They did zero damage there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we can bring uh, bring our melee guy in, flanking him at some point if we need to. If we need to. Boy, we're getting plenty of biomass, aren't we? Whoa, look at that. Oh, there's one robo leg. All right, let's get another one. Obviously, he's going to need two. Um, let's see, I've got plenty of credits, too, right now. So let's go ahead and buy another robot pack. Robot engineering pack, whatever the heck it's called. Advanced robotics. Okay, yeah, let's do that one. I guess maybe I should buy a random events one too, but I'm um, so hooked on these robot pieces now. Okay, we got another head. I'll just sell that. Robo arm, that's different than the grabber we got. So, interesting. There's different like arms and stuff. Should we keep it? We can sell one of those and put that there. I hope that works. We don't have to have two of the identical piece, but we'll see. We'll try and figure this out here. Um, let me go to my cards ideas wait 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 go back to cards real quick it lists them all here okay no 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 i guess i could go through that and maybe read about the robot but i just want to see right here robot parts oh we only know the legs so far so i have a feeling the robot's going to tell me to make arms next <laughs> we'll see 
oh, well, I was wrong. The, the robot dog is smarter than I gave him credit for. He knows we've already got the arms here. So it says uh, make a worker bot to speed up your production. Two legs. Uh, you know, uh, hold on, pause. Uh, where's my other leg? There it is. Two legs. Um, two grabs. So that's these. And then one robo head. Yes, we can do that. And one astronaut. Oh, man. Make a worker bot. So that's not these things. These are drones, right? Yeah, those are drones. Let's see what the heck a worker bot is. Oh, this is huge. So I'm going to go to make another one because we got a head and two arms over here. I presume we can just mix and match the appendages, arm, and a grabber. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, we're going to make two of these suckers because our energy, like I, as I anticipated, is coming out like crazy. And I love it. All right. Boom. Oh my God. Look at that glorious thing. Get out of there. Look at that glorious thing. 24 health. What? Hold on. Let's read them. Very efficient at work. Mediocre at combat. Well, with 24 health, that's okay. He's going to be our tank. <laughs> uh, use Uses units of energy per soul, too. Very good to know. How much does an astronaut use? Two. Drone. Where the hell's your energy use, drone? I don't see it. Oh, it says, oh, okay, it says it right here because we upgraded it. Service drone powered by solar panels does not require energy cells to operate. That's huge. That's why it consumes a solar panel. Makes total sense. All right, let's admire this bad boy for another moment or two. <laughs> Units, okay, two task performance, 150%. Nice. Melee, one to six damage. What's this guy's melee? One to 11. Okay, it says two targets. Melee, two targets. Oh, Okay. Uh, defense three. This guy has a defense of five, but yeah, this guy's HP is awesome. Well, that's cool. It's kind of a balance. Um, we're definitely going to go with this one. You know what I notice about the arms here? When I look at the description, it says a finely crafted robe arm capable of doing most delicate tasks like pulling a trigger. So that tells me that maybe we could like assign him guns and stuff. I don't know. He's got grabbers, so he's just more efficient at work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll figure that out. But, um, Oh, let's open our booster. Oh, what well, obtainium. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so, wow, we've got a ridiculous amount of plastic. Let's get that going. I'm going to clean some stuff up, and we're going to make another storage silo and work on some more robot parts. Okay, so a couple of cool things is the uh, RoboDog's telling me to repair the shuttle now and because um, I've got an un extra unobtainium. So we are definitely doing that. Uh, we got our storage silo. There's the fourth one. We're doing okay on cards. I'd like more of those, though, so we're going to work towards that. But also, I did try and assemble a worker bot here, but with a, a different arm. So we got one grab arm. We got one arm, uh, and it's not working. So I put the guy there. No, doesn't work. So I assume that can't be done. You need to keep two arms. And I don't remember the recipe for the second arm. So I'm just going to sell that. We're going to keep the legs and the head. And we've got a ton of money. So let's go ahead and buy some more advanced robotics. And I promise I will buy some random events. But I feel like right now we should be focused on the robot stuff. Hopefully we get an arm. Sweet. Okay, we did. I'll just sell those two. Let's put the energy cell back. Now, let's try and reassemble based on the worker bots recipe. So two legs, two arms, a head, and an astro. Oh, not the wreck. Hold on. Screw that up because I was holding shift down the whole time. Yes, so we just discovered it. What's it making now? A battle bot. Oh, okay, this is going to be good right here. No more bug worries. Wait, look, we still got the bug caverns and the SOS signal available. Should maybe we try that? Should we go with our new... Well, let's build the drone first and see what we can equip him with. And then we'll then we'll freak out and figure out where we can go. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, check it out. We've got ourselves a battle bot now. Oh, and we got a stat booster. Increases agility. Oh, all right. Um, I'm going to look at that. Hold on. Ooh, what do you need? Oh, five agility. That's not bad. Let's see what this guy's got. Okay, yeah, he needs that. He's only at a four. Anyway, we got the battle bot here. Very efficient at combat. Slow at work. Uh, it's fine with me. Unit four energy units per soul. Oh, my God. I might have to get another drone established with another solar thing now. <laughs> We're getting there, aren't we? Task performance. Okay, it's half of what normal. Regeneration, H1 HP. Force shield reduces the incoming range by 50%. 
Nice, nice. It actually has less HP than the the worker bot, but that's okay. Oh, this guy's a beast. Anyway, we also repaired the shuttle, and that's basically just like the rover. It's got uh, buckle up. Gravity Express is taking off. May discover new locations. In fact, now the to the robo dog's telling me that's our next next task. But um, yeah, guys, I think unfortunately it's going to have to wait for next episode. But we are going to get into some fun stuff next one. I can tell you. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I hope you like the content. If so, hit like and subscribe. Check the description down there for all the links, and I will see you on the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and check out this wonderful fan art by a Discord member named Finn. The cuttlefish is my favorite animal, and he did a wonderful job.